Hi there. In this video, we are going to talk about autoclave sterilization, a process used to sterilize various medical and laboratory equipment. Autoclaves use a steam under high pressure to kill microorganisms, making them a very reliable and effective method of sterilization. In this video, we will be discussing the step-by-step -step process of autoclave sterilization. So let's begin. Step number one, preparing the autoclave. The very first step is to make sure that the autoclave is in good working condition. Check the water levels, the power source and make sure the autoclave has been thoroughly cleaned before use. Next, load the items you want to sterilize into the autoclave, making, them, uh, making sure that they are placed in a way that they should be placed based on whether you have a column autoclave or a front load kind autoclave. Step 2 is setting the sterilization parameters. After loading the items into autoclave, it's time to set the sterilization parameters. This includes the setting the time, the temperature and the pressure. The appropriate sterilization parameters will vary depending upon the items being sterilized and make sure to refer to the manufacturer's instructions or guidelines for the items being sterilized. There are certain items that you can sterilize with autoclave and there are certain items you should not put inside the autoclave. Step number three is starting the autoclave. Once you have set the sterilization parameters, it's time to start the autoclave. The autoclave will begin to fill the water and heat up until it reaches the set temperature and pressure. The items inside the autoclave will also begin to heat up and undergo the process of sterilization. Step four is monitoring the sterilization process. It's very important to monitor the sterilization process to ensure it is working correctly. Some autoclaves have built-in indicators that will show you when the sterilization process is complete. Others require manual monitoring where you will need to check the temperature and pressure gauge periodically. Step 5 is cooling down and removing items. After the sterilization process is complete, the autoclave will begin to cool down. It's important to let the autoclave cool down completely before attempting to remove the items inside. Once the autoclave has cooled down, you can safely remove the sterilized items. Step 6 is post-sterilization care. After removing the items, make sure to handle them with sterile gloves or forceps to avoid contamination. Store the sterilized items in a clean, dry place until they are ready to be used. These are all the steps. Remember. Conclusion This is the process, a step-by-step -step guide to autoclave sterilization. Remember to always refer to the manufacturer's instructions for the specific autoclave that you are using and items being sterilized. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more practical videos like that. Thank you. Bye.